There was a question raised about HIV. Uh, I wish uh, the colleagues can give their details because I'd like to, we spend too much time discussing it. I'd like us to discuss that. Because the questions I raised then, I'm still raising them today. today. Uh, you see, for instance, I say, uh, AIDS, the acronym. The acronym is Afri uh, immu uh, Acquired Immune <laughs> Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. It's not a disease. It's not AIDD. Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. Now a syndrome in medical terms is a group of diseases. The syndrome. So all of these diseases which fall within the syndrome, meningitis, TB, uh, in the syndrome. Now when people then say to me, uh, HIV causes AIDS, I say one virus causes a syndrome. It diseases a whole syndrome of diseases with known causes. Causes of which tuberculosis are known and it's curable. But it's part of the syndrome. So you can't say one virus causes all of these illnesses. What you can say is that this virus impacts negatively on the immune system. It ne impacts negatively on the immune system. It's that weakened immune system which results in the syndrome. But there's a consequence to that kind of thinking, which is, therefore, when you go to test and that test says HIV positive, the uh, material, the flying sheets that would be in that container with the testing will say, the fact that this thing might say you are HIV positive, it does not necessarily mean you got the virus. What it means is that the immune system is responding to something that is threatening the body. And therefore you need a clinical analysis in order to, tell, to determine what is this thing that the immune system is rejecting. It's, it's in standard, it's in all the medical documents that go with it. And it's correct. Because then you've got to go and do this clin clinical examination in order to, t to determine which of these illnesses in the syndrome is the one that's affecting this person. And then you treat the person for that particular disease. I'm giving that as an example that the questions I asked then, I still ask them today. If you say there's a virus which causes a disease, I understand that. But they're not saying that. There's a virus which causes a syndrome. I'm not a medical doctor. But the logic of it to me that sounds funny. Uh, unless you say uh, there's a virus, HIV virus, which has it impacts negatively on the immune system. When it talks about immune deficiency, it produces immune deficiency. among other things, which results in the body then becoming open to this syndrome of diseases. And bear in mind that medical science itself has got many other causes of immune deficiency. Malnutrition causes me, sustained malnutrition causes immune deficiency. 
And so you can have immune deficiency, which is that in the syndrome, with no HIV involved. Syphilis. Unproperly treated syphilis. Its symptoms go down when in fact the thing is still there. It will produce an immune deficiency. I mean, that's a science, it's a medical science. Yeah. So I'm saying when I ask the questions then, which I continue to ask, how do you explain all of this? Yeah. So we tried to do our best to I'm back at what I was saying earlier. You know, when, when people say, those of us who are old enough will remember this, uh, in the 90s, that, uh, you know, this HIV and AIDS has hit South Africa. It's going to decimate the population. Real killer. So we are all in government and so we discuss this thing and say, but this is what we are told. There is this disease, it's called, which is really going to decimate the population. And therefore we have to respond to it in an effective manner. What is that response? So my view is that the colleagues and comrades, let us study this phenomenon so that we understand it properly, so that we respond properly. And indeed, without medical, being a medical scientist, you read and read and read, read lots and lots of stuff. And that's where you get these questions raised by medical people. Yeah. This thing that you call a disease is not a disease. It's a syndrome of diseases. Yeah. Uh, okay. In which case, what's my, what's my response? Uh, you can't say it was solved by an aspirin. No. The various interventions you need, which is why the question was raised uh, by the then Minister of Health in a very dramatic fashion. Nutrition. Nutrition is very, very critical to solving this problem. And that's why she was saying that we must take garlic and beetroot and so on. She was not saying uh, those things but then you are going to be cured. She was raising the matter about the importance of nutrition. And those particular types of foods, even today, have been raised in the context of this COVID-19. Same, same thing. <laughs> but there's somebody who's making a lot of money out of this particular story. And so you st stand up and say something which is threatening the prophets, then you are in real, real trouble. Thanks a lot.